Hello everyone, this is Brilliant Mind Series. This is sample BEC questions to mathematics for all BEC candidates who are preparing to write their final exams this year. That is two set problem. Area of plane figures. Commission. Vector equation. Linear inequality. Fractions. Angles. Statistics, that is pie chart. Interior angles of a regular polygon. Hourly rate, simple interest. Binary operations, highest common factor, that is HCF. Probability, two set problem, that's a Venn diagram. Scale on the map. Area and perimeter of plane figures. And lastly, graph of relations. The question talks about the first five multiples of M2 intersection M3. So this is the first five multiples of two, and that is the first five multiples of three, and then the section is six. M2 intersection M5, that is the first five multiples, and that is the first five multiples. Intersection is 10. The same thing here, M4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, intersection M10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and the section is 20. Here we, we've been asked to find the value of x. The value of x simply means the intersection of m2 and then m7. So after writing down the first five multiples of m2 and m7, the intersection is 14. And therefore the value of x is 14. The same here, m6 intersection m12 goes to my. Therefore the value of y is 12. m6 intersection m8 goes to mz. The value of z is 24. We multiply 3 quarters by 44 and we, we had 33 liters of petrol. And the next, we multiply 12 Ghana pesos by 33, uh, 33 liters of petrol and it gives us 396 Ghana pesos. Here we needed to change Ghana pesos into Ghana cities. And by so doing, we divide it by 100. And so we divide 100 by 396 and we got three Ghana cities 96 pesos alternatively you can also de decide to multiply the pesos by the 33 liters that is 0 0.12 Ghana pesos by 33 liters and you still get the same answer and therefore it will cost three Ghana cities 96 pesos to fill the tank three quarters four commission on the first 40 Ghana cities they give us 12.5% of 40 Ghana cities. When we simplify 12.5%, we got 25 divided by 2 times 100. And we further simplify this, we got 25 times 200. And that gave us 5,000 Ghana cities. Commission on the remaining amounts. We were given 48,000. And the first commission was for 40,000. And therefore, remaining amount has to be 40,000 subtracted from 48,000. And that will give us 8,000. And then we calculated 8% 8 of 8,000. And that gave us 640 Ghana cities. And therefore, commission for selling a house for 48,000 is the first commission plus the remaining amount or the remaining commission. And that gave us 5,640. This is an example of vector equation. All you need to do is to equate the corresponding components. So 4x plus 3 equals to 11. That's what we have here. When you apply balance method or you transpose 3 to the right hand side, you get 4x equals to 8. And therefore, the final answer is x equals to 2. Also, 5 plus 2y equals negative 5. When you apply balance method or we transpose negative uh, uh, positive 5 to the right hand side, we get 2y equals negative 10. And therefore, y equals to negative 5. This is linear in inequality, and there are two terms. So we multiply through by the LCM, which is 2. When we multiply through, we've got 14x plus 8, less than 4x plus 3. When we group like terms, we got this. When we simplify, we got that. And therefore, the final answer is x is less than negative half. And we were asked to represent the answer on a normal line. And that is our normal line. This is a fraction. All you need to do is to convert all the mixed numbers into improper fraction. 
After converting them into improper fraction, this is what we get. And then when we simplify what is in the parentheses, we get 20 divided by 3 divided by 25 divided by 15. This is division. So if we want to simplify, the division tends to be multiplication. And therefore, we reciprocate 25 divided by 15. That is by turning it upside down. So we have 15 divided by 25. When we simplify, we get our final answer to be 4. In the question 2, two sides were equal. That is 70 degrees and 70 degrees. And therefore, we know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And therefore, when, when we calculate 70 plus 70 plus 40 gives us 180 degrees. We further wrote 70 degrees plus 13x minus 20 equals 180 degrees. Adjusted angles on a straight line. So when we simplify, we got 13x equals 180 minus 50. And therefore, the final answer is x equals to 10 degrees. Alternatively, we have two interior opposite angles equal to the exterior angle. And therefore, 40 plus 70 equals to 13x minus 20. When we simplify, we get this. When we group like terms, we get that. And finally, when we divide both sides by a coefficient of x, we get x equals to 10 degrees. And that is the same thing here. This is a pie chart. <clears throat> and step one, you need to get a total number of students. And total number of students is 225. Step two is total angle. It, with, that gives us 360 degrees. And step three, you form the table. This is the completed table. How did you get 104? We got 104 by taking 65, divided by 225, and we multiply by 360. That gave us 104. On chemistry, we took 20, divided by 225, times 360, and that gave us 32 degrees. Every graphical representation of data has to have a heading. Hence, our pie charts Hence, a pie chart showing the number of students who offer certain subjects in SHS. And this is the pie chart. It is not drawn to scale. The question also asks us to find the percentage of students who offer social studies. There are two ways. Either you use angle of sector. And when you use angle of sector, you have to divide it by 360. Or you use number of students. When you decide to use number of students, you divide it by 225. So social studies, social studies is 72 degrees. Divided by 360, but by 100, you get 20 degrees. If you decide to use number of students, it's going to be 45 divided by 225 times 100%. And you still get the same answer. As you can see it here. Interior angles of a regular polygon is given by n minus 2, 180 divided by n. But we have been given the interior angle to be 156. So we equate 156 to the interior angle. We multiply through by the LCM, which is n. And this is the, the result when we multiply through. And then the final answer will be 156n equals 180n minus 360. Here, Either you apply balance method or you transpose 180n to the left hand side. When that is done, you get 360 equals to 24n. And therefore, to get a value of n, we divide both sides by, by 24, and that gives us 15. That's the number of sides. Next question There are five working days in a week, that is Monday to Friday. And so 3,500 multiplied by 5 gives us 17,500. And the question further stated that during weekends, weekends are Saturdays and Sundays. We were given total percentage is 100. And then we were given 15% extra if he works on weekends. Extra means addition. That's why we added 100 and then 15. That gave us 115 degrees. And therefore, we are going to use 115 degrees. Sorry, 115%. And so we are going to use 115 divided by 100 times 3,500. And that gave us 4,025. 
you can also decide to use 15 percent divided by 100 times 3500 the answer you get you then add it to 3500 you still get the same answer as 4025 because of weekends after we obtain our answer to be 4025 we multiply by two because of saturday and sunday and then we we got 8050 total amount earned in seven days a week it's working for five days plus weekends and that gave us 25,550. Amount earned for working seven days a week is 25,550. And then amount earned for working seven days a week for two weeks. Two weeks. So we multiply 25 by 550. 25 by 25,550 by two. And that gave us 51,100. Next question is about principal. Principal was given as this. Time was given as that. And the rate was given as this. And I decided to simplify the rate to be 9 divided by 2. That is a simple interest formula. When we substitute, we get 729,000. Alternative, alternative method. You can use 4.5. Once you use 4.5, there's a decimal point here. Once there's a decimal point, we get... We have to get rid of the decimal point by multiplying here by 10. That is the numerator by 10 and then denominator by 10. When you do that, we get this. This is the result that we got. And then when we simplify, we got 729,000. That is the interest on the loan. Amount is principal plus interest. So we added this and that. And this is what we got. So amount she pays each month is the is this amount divided by 12 and we got 1 million 410,750 Ghana cities this is binary operation <coughs> sorry so 3 plus 4 plus 3 times 4 gives us 19 next 4 plus 3 plus 4 times 3 gives us 19 and the operation is commutative the highest common common factor is the product of lowest powers of the common prime factor in each set. So 24, 56, 120. When you when you use prime factorization, you get 2 exponent 3 times 3, 2 exponent 3 times 7, and 2 exponent 3 times 3 times 5. You could see that 2 exponent 3 is common to each set. And therefore, the volume of the largest packet of sugar that can be used to fill each of them an exact number of times is 2 exponent 3. And when you simplify 2 exponent 3, we get 8 liters. 2 hertz, number of events divided by number of universal set, that is 1 divided by 4. At least 1 head means 1 or more. So number of events divided by number of universal set, we get 3 divided by 4. A head and a tail, 2 divided by 4 give us half general expression connecting two set problem is given by number of a union b because number of a plus number of b minus number of a union b and then a question n a is equals to n b plus five meaning number of a equals to x plus five and when when we, when we simplify the work this is what we get and when you further simplify, you get 65, it goes to 2x plus 33. When we either apply balance method or we transport 33 to the left-hand side of the equation, the final answer is going to be x equals to 16. Don't forget that we divided both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2. That was why we got 16. Therefore, number of a equals number of b plus 5, which is 4 plus x plus 5. But we know x to be 16. And therefore, 4 plus 16 plus 5 give us 25. Number of B goes to 4 plus X. We know X is 16. And therefore, 4 plus 16 equals 20. Number of A in your B equals to number of A plus number of B minus number of A in your B. And that will be 25 plus 20 minus 4. And that will be 41. <coughs> Just note the following. These are very, very important. The first question says three centimeters on the map equals 15 kilometers on the ground. 
and therefore we divide 15 by 3 and we get 5 kilometers on the ground and hence 12 centimeters on a map it will be 12 by 5 kilometers and that will be 60 kilometers on the ground the scale on the map is 3 centimeters to 15 kilometers we need to change kilometers into centimeters and by so doing we, we multiply by 100 and so we get 3 centimeters to 1 million 500 thousand centimeters when we simplify using highest common factor which is 3 the final answer becomes the ratio of 1 to 500,000 using ratio method we have the ratio of 1 to 500,000 equals to the ratio of n to 40 kilometers but here we need to change the 40 kilometers to get 4 million and so we use cross multiplication 4 times 1 500,000 times n and this is what we get and therefore we divide both sides by the coefficient of n which is 500,000 and that gives us 8 percent this is a rectangle with a diagonal before we will be able to find the area of the length uh, of the rectangle we need to find the length bc by using pythagoras theorem and so pythagoras theorem says that hypotenuse squared equals adjacent squared plus opposite squared so db squared equals to dc squared plus bc squared when we simplify we get this this is what we got and then when we further simplify we, we got this this is a third it has three terms and therefore either we apply balance method or we transpose 144 to the left hand side of the equation and therefore we are going to get 25 equals to y squared but because of the square we take square root of both sides of, of the equation and the final answer becomes y equals to 5 centimeters area of of a rectangle is length times width and this is the answer the perimeter is the distance around the rectangle so ab plus bc plus dc plus ad gives us 34 centimeters note that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees and therefore x plus y will give us 180 degrees when x is zero 0 plus y equals to 180 and therefore to get y we subtract 0 from 180 that gives us 180 when x is 150 means that y plus 150 equals 180 and therefore to get y we get 180 minus 150 that will give us 30 degrees and that is a completed table <clears throat> and this is we were asked to draw it on um, on a normal uh, on, on a graph. So this is y and that is x, x axis that is y axis, and these are our values. When x is zero, y is one eighty. When x is thirty, thirty is somewhere here. Y is one hundred and fifty, and when x is one eighty, y is zero. Then you use straight edge to draw the line. We were asked to find the value of x when y equals to 130. So 130 is here. So when you project it down, you get this. And then when x is 100, will give us 80. So the value of x is 50 when y equals to 130. And then the value of y is 80 when x equals to 100. Please subscribe, share, like, and enable notification. Thank you. Bye-bye.